to the Gluten Free Guru channel. My name is Tanya and today we're going to be making General Tao chicken, but instead of chicken we're going to use pork because it's cheaper, but you can do whatever you want. For this recipe you will need one pound of pork or chicken, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one egg, gluten free flour of your choice, we have plain rice flour today, uh, baking powder, salt, vegetable oil, sesame seed oil, grated ginger, sliced green onions, water, white vinegar, plain sugar, cornstarch, soy sauce, oyster sauce, both gluten-free, ketchup, and then extra green onions to garnish. Okay, so now we have our cleaned and cut pork and we're going to put it into a bowl that just has cornstarch in it. Your second bowl is going to have one beaten egg, baking powder, and salt. We are only using a half a teaspoon of baking powder and about equal amounts of salt or to taste, because that sounds like a lot to me. Remember not to add too much salt because we'll be adding soy sauce later. Make sure that when you're finished beating that there's no obvious clumps left. Next, we're going to take our vegetable oil and add some to a skillet. You're going to want to add about a quarter of a cup and turn your heat to about medium high. Okay, while that's heating up, you can take your pork and one at a time you're going to dip it and coat it in the cornstarch and then in the egg and then in the pan. You don't want to throw them all in at the same time. I've tried this once to try and save time, but what happens is you just get a giant clump of like uneven coating in your frying pan and you get flipped with a spatula and it just doesn't work. So trust me on this, you want to do it one at a time. Completely coated on all sides. Throw it into the frying pan. Ideally, too, you would wait until the pan is hot before putting each one in. That makes for a nice crispy coat without drying out the meat inside. When you start to notice that they're getting golden brown underneath, that's a great time to flip them. If you made yours into smaller cubes, you probably don't have to flip them on all sides, just the top and bottom. But if you're like me and you like the bigger, meatier ones, you're going to want to flip them on all sides. <laughs> A good way to know when they're ready to come off the heat is if they are nice and brown on all sides and there's no pink juices coming out. Make sure to cook them all the way through. If you're unsure if they're done, I always take the largest piece that I have and cut it open in the center and just to see if it's still pink. If it is, throw it back in. While those last pork pieces are cooking, you can go ahead and grate your ginger and cut up your green onion. Once we hit the green part, which is actually the only onion that's low FODMAP, you can cut it on a diagonal, which makes it look a little nicer for garnish. Now I split up my white bulb part, I don't know what it's called, from the garnish part. Also cut up the ginger. The recipe says to grate it, but my dad always minced it and it tastes great, so. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is drain the oil from the skillet because now we're gonna add sesame seed oil, the ginger, and the onions. Add about a tablespoon. I personally like sesame seed oil. Add your one tablespoon of ginger and your green onions. 
cook it on low heat because green onions burn very easily. Okay, next we are going to start making the sauce. So what you wanna do is add a quarter cup of sugar, water, and white vinegar. To me, that's a lot of sugar. Wanna cut back, be a little healthier. I always add a bit less. For reference, a quarter of a cup is about four tablespoons, but what I'm using is not a whole tablespoon. Now we're gonna add the vinegar, sugar, and water to the skillet, and you're gonna fry it until it's completely dissolved. To do this, you're also gonna to wanna to put it to high heat. While that's dissolving, we're gonna add one tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with one tablespoon Oh, that made a funny sound. One tablespoon of soy sauce. So now that your vinegar mixture is completely dissolved, we're gonna add two tablespoons of gluten-free oyster sauce. Two tablespoons of ketchup. your soy sauce cornstarch mixture and you're going to mix it until it's relatively thick. And I've lowered the heat for this. Now we're going to add back in our pork. Toss it in with the sauce. If you want to, you can let it simmer for a couple minutes just to reheat that pork or chicken. And when you're done, plate it. And finish off with your garnish. Beautiful. Bon appetit! Mm. It's actually really good. Thank you for watching my video on General Tao pork. Um, it pairs great with some jasmine rice, some steamed vegetables, whatever else you have around. It is a very flavorful dish, so having something a little more mellow beside it works really well. Um, if you like my video and want to see more, please subscribe and like this. Thank you.